we are back. Check this out. The powerful Jews are my enemy. Show me the Jew that's upright. They're the mother and father of apartheid, right. Jews. I do teach that the white man is the devil, and let me tell you why. Do you know why the white man kills strong black leaders? Because the prize of a conqueror is the woman. She's called the booty. And that's why, sister, it's dangerous to call the police when you and your husband are having a problem. White folks are going down. And Satan is going down. And Farrakhan, by God's grace, has pulled the cover off of that satanic Jew. And I'm here to say, your time is up. Your world is through. You just heard the leader of the Nation of Islam explain that he hates the Jews and he hates the white man. It's even worse than that. Here's a number of quotes from Louis Farrakhan over the last few years. All are quotes. You are not now, nor have you ever been a citizen of America. You are a slave to white America. America is in trouble, and I say God is about to wipe them from the face of the earth. I'm not crazy. I'm not drunk. How long do you think a nation can do evil and not face the wrath of God? Gaddafi is a revolutionary. He is my friend. He is my brother, and I would never deny him because you don't like him. I love him. My God will wipe this country, America, from the face of the earth. You see, everybody always talk about Hitler exterminating six million Jews. That's right. But don't nobody ever ask, what did they do to Hitler? White people are potential humans. They haven't evolved yet. And on the Jewish people, you are the wicked deceivers of the American people. You have sucked their blood. Hezbollah, they call them terrorists. I call them freedom fighters. The Jews don't like Farrakhan, so they call me Hitler. Well, that's a good name. Hitler was a very great man. The mother wheel is a heavily armed spaceship the size of a city which will rain destruction upon white America but save those who embrace the nation of Islam. You'd think this guy was the conductor on the crazy train and no one would be following him with quotes like that and many others, but it's a complete opposite. These are some of his friends and followers. The president of Iran invited us to a dinner with the president. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. He had Muslims from all over the country. And Keith Ellison was one. Andre Carson was one. Brother Munir was one. I was one. We were there. So Farrakhan just said he and Ellison and Carson had dinner with the president of Iran. Here, Farrakhan greets his good friend and supporter, Mad, Maxine Waters. Here's Congressman Andre Carson confirming his meeting with the hate preacher. Uh, there was a, a report that I attended a meeting. Uh, That's uh, the key. They said that you were at a meeting with Louis Farrakhan and he's anti-Jew, anti-gay, well, anti-white. Well, so, and so, so they want to... I, I, I have met with him as have other members of the Black Caucus. But yeah, Carson admits meeting with Farrakhan. And Congressman Ellison wasn't just at a meeting with Farrakhan, but was actually a member of the Nation of Islam, sold the papers on the street, and had a name which I think was Keith X. You got a picture of Keith Ellison? Now, Keith was in the nation in 1995. That's right. He was selling the Final Call newspaper. Right. A beautiful brother. And it is again another dramatic departure uh, from diplomacy, from uh, negotiated settlements. It's just Trump, uh, you know, stomping all over uh, what we've been trying to do as a, as a nation 
to foster uh, a negotiated two-state solution for many, many years. So it's really a horrible tragedy. This Congress approved funding for the Sesame Street in Palestine last year, but because of the uh, position of uh, certain individuals in Congress, that means uh, there's the money's being held up. For the ch innocent people who are dying in Gaza, who cares about who's to blame and whose fault it is? Let's get good funding to the people of Palestine so that they can grow and strengthen their own society. Let the funding flow. You gave a speech in 2010 where you said that U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East is governed by what's good or bad through a country of seven million people, uh, which people take to mean Israel. Is it any wonder so many of Ellison's positions are just bizarre, especially relating to Israel and Jewish people? Do you remember Women's March co-organizer and BLM activist Tamika Mallory? Tamika Mallory, I think she's here somewhere. Where? Oh, there she be. She took to Facebook Live to deny the indigenous nature of the Jewish people inside the state of Israel. You needed a place to go. Cool, we got that, I hear that. But you don't show up at someone else's home needing a place to stay and deciding that you are going to throw them out and hurt the people who are on that land and to kill, steal, and do whatever you gonna do to take that land. That to me is unfair. It's a human rights, a human rights crime. I stand with my brothers and sisters and siblings in Palestine. Our brother, our leader, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yep, that's Farrakhan praising Mallory and Mal Mallory praising Farrakhan. She is a follower. It's really sad that when we sit and we look at the quotes from a man like this that is so clearly racist, anti-Semitic, anti-American and anti-everything we stand for in this country with our American Constitution. People not only listen to him, they follow him, they praise him, and they meet him. And that goes all the way up to President Barack Obama. Remember the buried picture of Barack Obama and Minister Farrakhan that was tucked away in a camera, not shown before the campaign or during his presidency, but it's now surfaced? Why do people meet with a man that's this hateful? We'll discuss it more when we come back.